Welcome. In front of me is a dodgy V20 and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. So obviously you can see that the phone I have right here is locked. So to get started with the bypass, uh, you will want to start off by connecting to some kind of network. When I back out you should be able to see that I am connected. There we go. So you can see there it is. So connect to some kind of network and then back out to the first page right over here. You will select vision settings. Then you want to select talkback and use talkback. Talkback on. Welcome to talkback. Welcome to talkback. Page one of five. Talkback is a screen reader intended for situations or people. Now that is absolutely way too loud. And even muted, it's, you can still hear it. I can't make it. Okay, so it looks like I cannot mute it all the way. Now, which is just something that I wanted to do. It's not important to the bypass. So anyway, once you see this page right over here, what you will want to do is draw a mirrored L on a screen. I'm trying to hold the speaker so I can't hear it. So there we go, we're gonna do something like this. There we go. As you can see, it will bring up uh, this window right here. So select, uh, or rather, allow is already selected with this green outline. So you wanna double tap on it to confirm it. Then select use voice commands by tapping on it once. And before we double tap on it to actually confirm it, I'm gonna quickly go into what we need to say because this will be voice commands. So when you double tap on it, you will hear a beep. And when you do, you want to say open Google Assistant. You will hear another beep that is, I believe, just like an accepting one that it confirms your uh, inquiry or however you wanna call it. And then once it opens up Google Assistant, you will hear another beep that Google Assistant is listening to you, which you want to say open YouTube. So I'm gonna now do it so you can hear it kind of how it goes in action. Oh, I can't hear it, hear it because it's completely muted. There we go, I'm pretty sure I should be able to hear it now. So let's try that again. Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. Opening YouTube. So there we go, that's what we wanted to do. Now the first time around I couldn't actually hear it because I did muted so that was kind of my mistake anyway so once we are in YouTube uh, you, you want to or we both want to suspend uh, the vo like voiceover so we do so by holding volume up and volume down at the same time Fred, turn on, talk back. select turn on, turn on double tap and then hold them again volume up and down and it's now disabled so we can use the phone normally or rather the screen okay so anyway from here we will tap on the account icon in settings about google privacy policy accept and continue and no thanks which right now we should be in our browser now right at the top you want to type in hard we said that info slash bypass If you need a moment to write it down, do pause the video. From here, I'm gonna scroll down to settings right over here. And once you open up your settings, in here you wanna start off by navigating to uh, apps and notifications, if there is one like that, there we go, there it is apps and notifications then see all 39 apps tap on the three dots and then show system 
from here start off with the Android setup which we have two of them so as you can see so gonna start off with the first one disable disable app for stop go back and then select the second Android setup for stop and go back and now that we have disabled Android uh, setup we will go down to Google Play services so So there we go, Google Play Services. As you can see, it's kind of like halfway, a little marker. So anyway, select this one. And again, disable, for stop. And give me a second, I need to just check. So we're gonna now go back again once more the main settings page there we go and we need to scroll down to intelligent assistant right here and we're looking for accessibility right at the bottom accessibility mini enable it select allow and got it so now that i have added the accessibility mini we're gonna just spam the back button until we get back to the setup. There we go. From here, we're gonna progress through the setup. Okay, so there we go. We are right now in the correct place. Uh, as you can see, it tells us uh, checking for updates and then it gives like a brief second where it shows uh, just a sec and then goes back for well, to checking for updates. It will be stuck right now at this page until uh, we actually start doing something. So that's what we need to have. Anyway, so once you see this, uh, we will then start the actual like bypass. We have till now prepared everything so it works. Right now we're gonna do it. So you wanna click on this accessibility menu icon, select assistant. This will show up settings right here, which disappears fairly quickly. And once you press on that settings, you'll see enable button right here, which you did see for a brief moment. So what you want to do is click on that enable button. Now, as you can see, obviously from what you can, how I'm doing this, uh, these windows do close on their own. I'm not doing anything to them. They're just literally closing, uh, closing down on their own. So that is normal. And it might take you several tries to actually get it enabled. What I think, think uh, might help is just picking up speed and doing it quicker um, I think that the faster you try to do it the better the chances of you getting that enable button button enabled uh, are so just gonna now try to do this There we go. So this went relatively easy for me this time around, uh, but I'll warn you, this is not always the case. It might take you 50 tries or more. If you're doing everything that I was doing right now, just pressing, trying to press all the three buttons uh, in sequence, then you're doing everything correct. So don't get discouraged. It, like I said, it might take you more tries than it did for me. It's kind of random though I think the faster you try to do it uh, the better your chances are anyway once you enable this it will actually stay open so press back button only once now it will open up Google Assistant so press somewhere on the screen to get rid of it and from here we can now finish up the setup as you can see we kind of skipped the page where it normally would tell us to verify our Google account or the pattern that was set up for me before and also tells me that I can set up a pin right now but I'm gonna skip it I don't think we actually would be able to set up a pin so disregard it anyway and once you have access to your home screen you want to navigate into the settings because the device is still locked so navigate to settings scroll all the way down to system 
Advanced, Reset Options, Erase All Data, Erase All Data, and press on that button once again. Now, the reason you want to do this is because, like I said, the device is technically still locked. We just managed to glitch into or kind of skip certain parts of the setup, but still the account that was previously on this device and the protection is still present on here. But by performing a factory reset of the device through settings, once the setup is actually finished, this removes any kind of protection that were that was present on this device and at, at this moment still is for me. So once you press on that uh, erase all data button, this will begin a factory reset, which is all automatic. Once it's completed, you will be in the setup process of the device once more. But at that point, you can go to the setup however you want. The device will be fully unlocked, so you don't need to sign into anything. You don't need to verify anything. Just go through the setup however you want. Now, I'm not going to go over this on the video just because it would waste your time. Uh, factory reset gives you nothing to do and setup screen is just a, at that point, normal setup screen. So I'm pretty sure you know how to get around those. So anyway, with that being said, this is how you could bypass the Google verification on this phone. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.